Hey guys, welcome back to Freakmancer. In today's video, we are going to create a cool text animation which is inspired by Pixret. He is very talented artist. You can check out his Instagram for more inspiration. Link of his profile in the description. Also, a special thanks to Dome Motion for sharing these techniques of this kind of text animation. We all know who is he and he does not need any intro. I tried to merge these two techniques and make something new out of it. I hope you like the video. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. So let's get a composition. Let's call it text. Let's go for default settings only. All right. Now take the type tool and type any text you like, like stretch for stretching effect. Yep. Let's place the anchor point in the center and also align it to the center of the composition as well. Now take the region of interest tool and create a region of interest just like this. Now go to composition and crop com to the region of interest. So we'll get a composition for the text only with the dimensions you want. Now select the text layer, right click on it, go and create shapes from text. You can delete the text layer for now. Select the outline layer and go to search bar and type path. And you will get all the path properties for the every letter. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on the path property for every letter. Just like this. Now if you select the layer and press U, you can see all the applied keyframes. Now go to 20 frames and select any of the path and just change the path of the text just like this for the stretching effect. Now do same for the every letter. I am fast forwarding this process so you guys don't get bored. Nice. Once you're done with all the letters, just copy the first keyframes and place it after 20 more frames, just like this. So we'll get this kind of stretchy fill effect on the text. Now copy the second keyframes as well and place it after 20 frames as well. And do the same again, just like this. Uh, let's keep the duration for 2 seconds 20 frames for now. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to erase them. Go to graph editor, make sure you are in the edit speed graph. Select all the points just like this and change the influence value of this to 90%. Uh, this is a free plugin from Animation Composer. You can get it from here or you can just do it manually just like this. Now after that you will get this kind of animation in the text layer. Cool. Now create another composition and let's call it render. Bring the text composition into the render composition. Now on the text layer we are going to apply an effect called CC power pin. Apply it on the layer. Now on the first frame add keyframes on this four properties for top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right. Press you to see the applied keyframes. You can see the keyframes here. Then just drag this point randomly just like this. You can go for any shapes you want and just change the points randomly the way you like. This can be very random. Yep. But just make sure the duration gap should be same with the text layer. This layer. See, every 20 frames we are changing the keyframes, right? Here we do the same as well. And in the last keyframe, copy the first keyframes and paste it over here. Let's trim the layer for now. I know this is very odd, but you can you can put more times to make it really cool. Now select all the keyframes and easy is them and change the curve curves something similar to the previous one. The influence value should be 90 or near about 90. Okay. I think this looks fine. Let's add a texture. 
and I have the texture file here. Uh, I will add the texture file with the project file in the link in the description. Scale it down a little bit. Now on the text layer, we are going to add an effect called time displacement. Now change the displacement layer to pattern layer or the texture layer. Now if you play the animation, you can see there is no movement in the text, right? And to fix that, you just need to place this effect at the top of the power pin effect. And your animation is done. You see? Nice. Let's change the text color from here. Let's go for orange like pixelate. Just like this. Go back to main composition or render composition. Now make a duplicate of this uh, pattern layer or you can say texture layer and place it on the top. Change the blending mode to screen. Let's hide this layer for now and add a solid layer for the background. Let's call it BG. Let's use black color for the background. You can reduce the opacity of the texture layer from here just a little bit. Alright. Now create an adjustment layer here. And on the adjustment layer, we're going to add an effect called noise. Change the noise amount to 10. Also add curve effects to adjust the colors. Now just change the curve something like this. Alright. Now if you play the animation, you can see there is a really cool effect on the text as well. So this is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Till then have fun and stay safe guys.